Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the programs on strings. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the length of the string without using the inbuilt length method. So, you are observing that we need to find the length of the string. For example, let's take Hemant as input. What is the length of that string? The length of that string is 7 because there are 7 characters in that particular string. This is called the length of the string. In strings, we are having an inbuilt method called length method which will return the length of the string. But how to find the length of the string without using the inbuilt length method? Let's observe this video lecture carefully to find length of the string without using length method. Firstly, we need to create class. I am creating string example 1 as class name and, the, and in the second statement we need to create main function. So public static void main of string args string arguments is nothing but string arguments is passed as input to the main function. I mean argument to the main function. After that, we need to create scanner class because if in Java, if you want to take any input from the user, either it is a string input or character input or integer input, we need scanner class because in scanner class only we are having different functions to take different type of inputs. That's why I'm creating object to the scanner class. Scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in. After that, we need to create string input, right? We need to take string input. String str equal to sc dot next line. Next line is a method that is available in scanner class. That's why I'm using object of scanner class to call sc dot next line method. But if you observe, the scanner class is not declared in our program. The scanner class is available in util package. That's why I'm going to import that util package. Otherwise, it will get an error. So that's why I'm going to import scanner class into our program. Scanner, sorry, import java.util.scanner. After that, I'm creating character array. Because we need to iterate each and every character. That's why I'm creating a character array. Char array equal to in strings we are having a special function to char array which is used to convert the string into character array. So that's why I'm using str dot to char array. It will convert the string into character array. After that I'm using for each loop. For each loop is similar to for loop, but instead of initialization and declaration, we are giving data type and name of the variable colon followed by character array. It is mainly used to traverse each and every element present in the arrays or collections without using any indexes. It is automatically iterate each and every character or each and every element that are present in the array. It is only used for traversing only but not updating any values because we are not having any indexes also. That's why we are unable to update, update the values. So character followed by name of the character array. So name of the character array is A R R. So in each iteration, we need to increase length value, length plus plus, length plus plus. Initially, we are not declared any length variable, right? So we need to declare length variable, otherwise it will get an error. I'm initializing the length variable to zero, int length equal to zero. After completion of for each loop, we just simply print system dot out dot int of length l e n g e h just save the program i'm saving the program as string example one dot java 
just compile the program okay here we are observing that there is one error that is star 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 coding questions on strings it is not a java statement that's why i just need to comment it out that otherwise it will get an error just save the program run run it once here we are observing that there is an error void but it's void void i am giving void that's why it will get an error just save the program and run it once here we are observing that there is no errors in our program just clear the screen and run the program here we need to give input to the compiler i am giving hemant as input it will returns 7 as output because there are seven characters that are present in the string that's why it will get seven as output let's take the test case i'm giving ambani a m b a n i ambani in ambani there are only six characters let us check it will return six or not if it is written six our program is executing fines otherwise it will get an error it is executing six shows that our program works fine in all the test cases i hope all of you understand the program well if you like the video then like otherwise dislike the video that will helps me a lot to improve my teaching skills thank you all